everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Lauren Kruger. Um, I will be talking with you today about IFMA's Sustainability Facility Professional, the SFP, and future-proofing your facilities um, and your career with the SFP credential. As I said, my name is Lauren Kruger. I am the Director of Sales Operations for IFMA. Um, I've been with IFMA for about 10 years now, started in the membership department and am now in the professional development sales department. So um, I can answer any of your questions as it relates to IFMA, anything to do with membership, upcoming events and conferences, feel free to um, ask any of those questions and I can help you. So during the presentation today, this is live um, broadcasting on LinkedIn. This is being recorded. Um, you will be able to view it again on LinkedIn on IFMA's page as well as IFMA's YouTube channel if you have access to the YouTube. Um, you all are, are muted. You're just watching this live. If you have any questions at all during the presentation, please type them into directly into that LinkedIn event chat um, and I will answer them as I go. I It's just me today. I am based in Stavanger, Norway, so that is why I'm able to bring this presentation to you at a time hopefully that is convenient for you. Um, we will be, I will be giving another presentation at 11 a.m. Central European in time. And then my colleagues in Houston, Texas will be giving another presentation at 11 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. So there are a couple presentations today. If you're not able to make this one or if you have a colleague or supervisor that you want to watch this presentation, you can let them know about the other times as well. Um, and I want to mention my other colleagues um, with IFMA's regional representatives. Um, Lara Payman is the managing director for IFMA EMEA. Mahender Singh is the director for IFMA India. And Cece Dai is the managing director for IFMA China. Um, these are all um, part of IFMA. They are our global representatives in these specific regions. If you are within any of these regions, please reach out to the IFMA offices um, and you can see what chapters are in your area if you are not a member, what events might be happening uh, locally within your region. And that reminds me, um, if we're please include in the chat where you are joining us from. Um, we do have people join in from all over the world. Um, since I am giving this at 9 a.m. Central European time, we tend to have people that join um, from China, the Philippines, Australia, um, people from the Middle East. Um, so if you would like to tell me where you're from and maybe um, what you do, what facility you work for, um, that would be great. And maybe what, why are you coming to this presentation today? Is it to learn more about specifically the SFP or IFMA in general? I would love to know. So for those of you who are not familiar with IFMA, um, IFMA is the International Facility Management Association, and our vision is to lead the future of the built environment to make the world a better place. And we do that through our mission um, to advance our collective knowledge, value, and growth for facility management professionals to perform at the highest level. IFMA has been in um, the association world for over 40 years. Um, we are the leading expert in facility management, um, professional networking, education, conferences, and events. We have over 139 chapters globally um, in 100 countries, and we have over 22,000 members. So there are many organizations out there, um, some that are maybe more regionally located to you, um, and maybe you're considering your options on what might be the best training, credential, education that you can find to assist you in your career. So why should you choose IFMA training? Um, IFMA has created a very unique model for providing training to the facility management professionals in the industry. Um, what we do is we 
provide a global job task analysis survey that is sent to professionals globally. We have to have a certain number of feedback from global representation. And that, go, that feedback goes into building IFMA's trainings and credentialing. So we are listening to what is happening within the market. And that helps us find nuggets of industry topics or learning content that have begun emerging but haven't taken hold yet. So um, there's content and existing training that can be expanded on, or we create new examples for the learnings of this content. And so the, this feedback establishes the base of IFMA's training, education, and credentialing program. So this is cutting edge technology and methodology, best practices in adult learning that IFMA is using. And our programs are, our credentialing programs are ANSI ANAB accredited. So that means a third party has reviewed IFMA's policies, procedures, the staff, the subject matter experts, the entire methodology, and the review, the job task analysis, everything that went into creating these credentialing programs is being reviewed by a third party to ensure that IFMA followed the quality um, and standard needed to create a credentialing program. So this gives you added value to the credential that you receive from IFMA because it is accredited by a third party. So today we are going to be talking about the SFP, the Sustainability Facility Professional. So this is a quick overview page of all of the credentialing and training programs that IFMA offers, um, starting with essentials here at the bottom of the screen, which is going to be our beginner level. Um, our FMP is going to be for those skilled individuals looking to gain knowledge and standards and best practices in the foundational competence competencies. Then we have our core, our, our other core competencies. So IFMA's FM body of knowledge contains 11 competencies and the FMP covers foundational four. And then we have additional courses in the other seven competencies that you can receive training in. We have our SFP, which is for facility professionals looking to have a strong, who have a strong foundation of FM knowledge and want to implement sustainable practices within any facility, regardless of that facility's age. And then we have our master level, our certified fac facility manager, and this is going to be for experienced professionals who meet certain eligibility requirements. And what this certification does is it gives a stamp of approval on that individual to, to say that they've demonstrated mastery in all 11 competencies through knowledge and experience of those 11 competencies. So the one we're going to be talking about here is the SFP and we'll go into it a little bit more in the next slides. So where do I start with sustainability? What is your company culture? How, how does your company su support sustainability? Is sustainability part of your balanced scorecard? What are your KPIs? Do any sustainable practices exist already? How do you measure and define success of these programs? And are people looking to you to lead the initiative for your organization's sustainability efforts? You also need to ask yourself, do you already have a strong foundation in facility management? So the SFP is going to build upon the concepts and topics that you learn from those foundational four competencies that make up the FMP program. So that's going to be finance and business, operations and maintenance, leadership and strategy, and project management. So if you already have experience, a strong, a strong base in those foundational competencies, then the SFP is going to be a great logical next step for you because it builds upon those concepts within the foundational competencies. And are you ready to learn more? Are you ready to start making an impact on your organization? And are you ready to influence your organizational structure? These are great questions to ask yourself if you are ready to, and willing to pursue the SFP credential. 
So who should pursue the SFP? Again, like I just mentioned, you need that knowledge in the foundational competencies of facility management before starting your SFP. The SFP is not going to teach you or provide training in those foundational competencies. So if you feel like you don't have a firm handle on any of those four competencies I just mentioned, then it might be good to look at that specific competency training first or perhaps starting with your FMP credential before pursuing your SFP. Um, you need to establish your baseline. Get your feet wet with sustainability. Learn the terminology. Um, there's things that you can do. We have an additional course that I'll go into in the next slide, but um, every facility manager seeking guidance on sustainable strategy and implementation should look at pursuing the SFP. This is a must have for a reasonable foundation of the core facility management, such as the FMP. So this is going to be for those, again, who have that foundation and are ready to act within their organization. So if you are just beginning, you're wanting to learn a little bit more, but maybe you're hesitant on starting an actual credential program. We do have a training course within sustainability. This is only about five study hours on average. There are six chapters within this training program. This is not a credential. It is just a training program to help you learn the concepts of managing water, energy, materials, and consumables waste, workplace, and site management. So this is going to give you kind of that broad overview introduction into sustainability. Once you complete this training program, you do receive a digital badge verifying your knowledge that you've attended this course, that you've met these expectations, and these are the learning um, concepts that you've learned. Um, we do have study resources available for this specific course. There is a printed book, but everything you need to complete this training is online. So there is digital content online when you purchase this sustainability course. Again, this is different from the SFP credential program. This is just an overview um, introductory training course into sustainability. This is a great option to help get your feet wet before deciding if you want to pursue the SFP credential program. And for those that do purchase this sustainability course, um, we are offering uh, credit towards the SFP credential program. So if you purchase the SFP, uh, I'm sorry, if you purchase the sustainability competency course, what you paid for that course will be put towards the fee for your SFP credential program. So that way you're not out any money. Um, if you would like to pursue that credential, we will um, put that money that you paid for the sustainability course towards the SFP credential for you. So the SFP, the Sustainability Facility Professional, this is a knowledge-based, self-paced lifetime credential. Once you attain, once you attain the SFP, there is no maintenance that you need to do. You have that credential for life. It is comprised of three units a total of 12 chapters. And in the next slide, we'll go into a little bit more detail about what each of those units cover. This program is going, everything you need to complete the SFP credential program is online. So you have a digital flip book. You can download a PDF of that digital content if you prefer to download it and read it on your Kindle or your desktop. You have that ability to do so. And we have study aids throughout the program. So there's progress check questions as you read through the material. There's flashcards that you can um, review online or also download in print and study all you prefer. There's an FM glossary of terms to help you learn those key terminologies within the SFP credential program. And there's case studies to help you Eat, there are online final assessments, one for each chapter. 
So as I mentioned, there are 12 chapters total within the SFP credential program. So there is going to be a final assessment at the end of each of those chapters that you will need to take and pass before you can submit your application for the SFP credential program. And we found that on average, the study hours someone um, has pursuing this credential is between about 46 to 67 study hours. And IFMA um, has a guide that you can use, download and use to help you understand how you should allocate your time each week to complete this SFP program. So that way you're not completely lost with how to tackle this information. IFMA does provide a guide that can help you understand how to organize your time um, with how many study hours you may need to approach each week to complete that SFP program. So you heard me at the beginning of this presentation mention IFMA has a global job task analysis survey that is conducted that forms the basis for our credentialing and training programs. So the last survey we conducted um, is what has been used to update the SFP credentialing program. So IFMA has just launched a content update for the SFP program. So IFMA is not new to the sustainability game. This credential has been around for a while. It has just recently been updated with the content from the most recent practice analysis that IFMA conducted. And so the concepts that were highlighted within this survey and this practice analysis um, can be applied practically when taking this program. So it's, it's strategy meets implementation. Earning this credential is just the beginning. This credential is going to teach you evergreen strategies to use. You have the power to drive sustainability, but you need the knowledge and the training to support your ideas and initiatives. So the FM profession is constantly changing. Some of the trends that we've seen emerging within the last couple of years includes technology, Internet of Things, um, health and wellness. Within sustainability, there's the ESG demands, circular economy, net, new, net zero neutrality. There's all of these terms and concepts that are out there right now buzzing on everyone's mind. And the SFP is going to help you understand and address these concepts and topics that are happening now within the world. So turn your hope for the future into action for today. Um, we are all living on the same earth. So what you're doing, no matter where you are, has an impact on the next generation. And facilities will have that limelight. They have the ability to make the change and be the impact for um, global um, environmental change. So, and then, you know, again, with the update of this SFP program, we have done extensive ongoing analyses for learning content development. And there was a deeper analysis that was done for the SFP. We've seen consistent increase in the weighting of the importance of the sustainability competency. So IFMA did hold focus groups of academics, practitioners, and narrow down the key tasks and knowledge needed for this credential. So that SFP focus group was had more than 30 contributors coming from multiple backgrounds, regions, facility types, and they work in everything from airports to community banks with 2,000 square feet to 1 million square feet of facilities. So this focus group and update of this program really did take a holistic approach to gather input from contributors to create this new, this updated SFP content. So what the credential covers. You heard me mention that it makes up three units. Unit one is going to be that introduction. Unit two is going to be about analyzing sustainable solutions. And unit three will be making sustainable change. The SFP is all about strategy and implementation. So earning your credentials is just the beginning. This, this has a test as you go approach. 
breaking that learning topics down with final assessments at the end of each one of these chapters that you see on the screen. So this makes the content easier to digest, makes that final assessments that you need to, uh, to pass in order to attain the credential easier to digest and um, comprehend with the material that you just learned. And some of the feedback that we've been getting from instructors who have helped us develop this course is that this credential is a game changer. The SFP is no longer a nice to have credential, but it is a must have credential for facility professionals in the industry. You need to stay on top of industry changes and update your strategic plan. And this credential helps walk you through those critical pieces to building that plan. This, um, from that practice analysis that was conducted, it also highlighted an approved alignment with operations and maintenance. So it's more focus on the day-to-day O&M changes that you can make. There's, you know, the HVAC operations and maintenance, improving efficiencies of existing systems. And then there's added energy fundamentals. So energy purchasing, energy sources, consumptions and demand differences. So this, as I mentioned, the SFP builds on that foundational core competencies, O&M being one of them. And the SFP is going to have, give you strategies and implementation tactics to align more closely with the O&M um, operations and maintenance. So having that critical knowledge in O&M is going to be fundamental for pursuing the SFP credential. And as you've heard me mention, the SFP is all about strategy and implementation. And this is the plan, do, check, act cycle. So it gives you that framework to take back to your organization immediately, developing a strategy, identifying initiatives, having that communication plan, and then reporting on those initiatives. And IFMA is going to be offering a new experience for those that need or want an instructor-led um, guide to help you through the SFP material. So IFMA is launching the SFP Learning Lab. These are experiences that are facilitated virtually by live instruction. And these are IFMA qualified instructors who have gone through training, who have the credentialing needed to provide this education to you within the SFP program. And this is going to be very different for those of you that may have your FMP or have participated in a virtual FMP session with IFMA's headquarters or one of our training partners. This is going to be very different. This is not going to be an instructor just teaching concepts to you. This is moving from concept to application. So you're going to be engaging with the other students in your class. You're going to be learning from your peers. We will be breaking out into sessions to work with your peers and developing strategies that you've been learning within the SFP credentialing program that you can implement immediately within your organization. So this is a very hands-on learning lab to understand those concepts and topics that the SFP credential program is teaching you so that you can implement these strategies and act on them immediately. This is optional. It is not required to finish the SFP, but it is an excellent opportunity to help understand the concepts and topics within the SFP while also coming away with a strategic plan and initiatives that you can implement immediately within your organization. There are 12 interactive sessions, so one for each chapter. Each of these are 90 minutes a piece. And again, this is not required. This is just an opportunity for those that want to engage with fellow peers going through the SFP program, ask questions of the, that you may have of the credential program with that IFMA qualified instructor. And I should mention that it is critical if you want to attend one of these learning labs, it is critical that the attendees 
must read the chapter materials prior to attending. If you do not, you will be lost in the live session. So a lack of preparation will result in low to no value in this learning lab. So if this is something that you're looking at attending for the SFP, you really do need to read the material before the start of the class and be prepared for a different and exciting experience with these SFP learning labs. So as I mentioned, there are other organizations, other credentials out there that you can achieve or attain that fall within the sustainability realm, such as LEAD AP and WELL AP. And these are not competing against the SFP credential. These are credentials that can be very complementary to each other. If you have one of these already or are looking at which one might be right for you, um, one or more of these may be um, very complementary to what you are doing within your organization. So some of the key differences that the SFP has is that it is going to focus on the intersection of place and people. So it's focusing on the FM as well as that interaction and the efficiencies that you have with the building that you're operating. Um, it's not specific to any building rating. The SFP credential is not specific to any building rating. And it's going to get general sustainability knowledge and strategy. So these are some of the differences that um, we've highlighted between some of these other sustainability credentialing and certifications out there. But again, the SFP is not in competition with these. If anything, these complement each other very well for an individual that has a LEAD AP facility or a WELL AP and an FMA SFP credential. So our challenge to you, facility managers have a profound impact on protecting our home, planet Earth. FMs play a critical role in protecting our environment. And you need to think globally while acting locally. The SFP helps you understand what you can do within your facilities to affect global crises, including climate change. And facility managers are the change agents of today and tomorrow. So join your global peers in leading that change. So thank you for listening to my presentation today. You can take advantage of special savings using the discount code SUSTAINABLE50. That will get you 50 US dollars off of that IFMA sustainability competency course. That's that introductory course I mentioned that can help get your feet wet in sustainability concepts and topics. And then if you are ready to pursue that SFP credential now with the updated content, you can use the discount code SUSTAINABLE100 to receive $100 off that SFP credential. Um, you do not need to be a member to pursue any of the training or credentialing at IFMA, but becoming a member does um, allow you to receive discounted rates. So just keep that in mind. It might be something to look at to understand um, if that will save you money in the long run. And this discount is going to be valid through the 14th of November. So you have a couple weeks here to decide if you want to take advantage of that SFP credential program. Um, please reach out to us if you have any questions and we can help you understand if this might be the right next move for you. And IFMA, I wanted to briefly mention, does also offer additional sustainability resources through membership. So um, if you are a member of IFMA, you do receive access to IFMA's knowledge library. This is going to be a digital library that houses uh, research reports, um, previous recordings from IFMA's, IFMA's conferences and events, white papers, um, additional webinars, and there are many topics in there that focus on sustainability. We also have an engage forum. So this again is for members of IFMA. There is a digital community that you can join. We have a specific community for people pursuing the SFP credentials so that you can talk with, network, um, perhaps find a study, um, someone, uh, 
pursuing the SFP credential at the same time that you can study with online. Um, and then we also have an environmental stewardship utilities and sustainability community. So that is ESES. Um, IFMA offers a number of industry councils and um, communities within membership that you can join and again, network with professionals that are specific to that either um, industry or topic within, within FM. And then IFMA does uh, live stream webinars every Wednesday. I hope that you have been watching our Wednesday webinar series. There is amazing content coming out of those webinar series. I know that I also watch those. I try to watch every one that I can um, to stay up to date on what's happening also within the industry and trends. And it is very, um, very engaging, very thought-provoking um, research and questions that facility professionals are um, posing. So please make sure that you are also turning on notifications for those Wednesday webinar series um, and research that IFMA is producing. So that is the end of the presentation. Thank you all for joining us today. I appreciate your time. Again, if you have any questions at all, please contact IFMA and we would be happy to, again, talk to you about any of the content updates, what your options are for pursuing the SFP credential or just any questions you have in general. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I will be giving another presentation here in about an hour and a half. So if you would like a colleague or supervisor to watch this presentation, you can join then as well. And these are being recorded. Um, you will be able to watch them again on IFMA's LinkedIn channel as well as IFMA's YouTube channel. So thank you all for joining today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much.